Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica. I am a stay-at-home mom of two, a boy and a girl. And for today's video, it's gonna be a haul. I do hauls, I do vlogs, very long vlogs. They're usually monthly or two parts depending how much I vlog during the month. Um, also, I'm getting into getting like shop with me so if you're interested click that button down below to subscribe and if you're excited to see what is in store in this video then just keep on watching okay so the stores are like boutiques so they're moms that own these stores three of them are websites and one of them is more instagram and trust that you're gonna get your product or you could go pick it up yourself. Ari was a brand rep for two of these um, stores that I'm gonna talk about. But for baby for now, for my baby now, I'll put the name right here and I'll leave the links and like the Instagram of Emily <laughs> down below or I just put information as I'm talking so you guys know what I'm talking about. So for my baby now, they she contacted me through Instagram saying if I wanted some stuff for my baby girl, which I said of course, cause I saw her website, it's super cute. They have, well she has a section on her website that says ambassadors I think. You click on that, everything is free but you have to pay for shipping and shipping is around 11 well that was for me so basically i just paid 11 dollars for this outfit and the outfit is gingham i think that's what you call it plaid for most people it's pink and white it comes in a three-piece set here are the little shorts look like this they're just pink and white with scrunched up it came with this little thing that was actually attached to the shorts I took pictures of her with the shorts and this around her and without I actually took this off and used it as a head wrap since I love putting bows on her you're gonna see later on why I love putting bows on her they're super cute so I'm gonna put pictures right here of how she looks with this outfit on so it's this this long headband that you have to do it yourself it's more like a waist piece and then it comes with this little blouse part i got this in size 12 months and you tie it around in the back so the back is when you say revealing so you would have to put this on a very hot day if it's not a hot day i would usually put like one of those camis from walmart underneath it just looks like this these are the sleeves Okay, and the next website I'm going to talk about is called Fashionist Tots and their clothes is super cute, especially, especially, especially the ones that have like, um, characters, if you're talking about like princesses and Disney characters like Alice. So it was clear that I would get something that had Alice in Wonderland, Wonderland, my tongue got kind of tied in there. So it just looks like this. It's a romper. I must say it kind of looks weird. The print looks weird because her face looks kind of strange. But I kind of grew to like it. It looks kind of, I don't know, it looks unique. So it looks like this. It does tie in the bottom and the snaps are plastic. And it crisscrosses in the back. And I got this in size 18 months so it's a two two piece set sorry for loudness we have Ari over here causing a ruckus <laughs> so it does come with a headband but the headband is just the piece of the same fabric that you just wrap around so it just looks like that okay the next thing is also from the same website it comes in a two piece set and it's snow white this is a blouse but when she wore it it looks almost like a dress because it's kind of long 
I already washed it once and as you could tell the things are kind of like sticking out it sticks out from right here and I did air like hang this to dry I did not put it in the dryer because I don't know what it would like what would happen if I actually put this in the dryer so it looks like that and it comes it comes with shorts I would put the picture of her right here when she wore this these are the shorts you would think these shorts are big but they actually fit her pretty well uh, I think I got this in size 12 the outfit is size 12 and they're like the neon like a tennis ball green <laughs> and it has ruffles right here and this is scrunched up as well the strings are coming up the next piece I was in love but also I was kind of disappointed this is it right here it is really beautiful the material is beautiful the print I love this print you guys can tell and it's like um like silky material this you have to do it yourself so you could arrange it how you want to you just undo it and then you put it how you want I love this on her I will show you guys a picture right here she looks very cute her legs are open because she does not like touching the grass the one thing I was disappointed about this is it does not have snaps and <laughs> crotch area so I would have to take this whole thing off when I had to change her diaper I took it off like after five hours because it was getting kind of like annoying to tell you the truth it was cute it's cute for pictures and like for little moments but but knowing her how she does not like to get changed in clothing or changed in diapers it was a struggle a very big struggle to take it off and then put it back on and then when you have to tie these yourself and try to make them even it did not work okay so the next outfit I'm going to show you is this right here it comes in a two-piece set so it comes with this and some little shorts but I'm going to show you the print it is super adorable so summery so it comes with some flowers and then blue flowers and it looks kind of big it's supposed to be 18 months and it looks kind of like 2t in 18 months it looks kind of like a dress but it's supposed to be a shirt so it looks like this and when the sizing comes it always comes with like 90 is for 18 months and then 80 is for 12 months and then these are the little shorts how cute are those they look like high-waisted little shorts they're simple blue stretchy and if these came separately like in different colors I would get them they're so cute but I was thinking that like this is almost matches my shirt I was thinking that she could wear this while I wear this shirt and some like I would wear some like denim or white shorts and we would kind of be coordinating with the blue all right you guys the next thing is also in 18 months and look at this this kind of looks like a bikini but it's a dress it's like that chambray material it looks kind of jean like it has like the print is flowers and then the stitching has white stitching in the bottom it does come with um like a onesie like thing so you could attach right here and it won't be going like all over the place Jesus Christ Monica with all the legs like this and it ties in the front but you could also tie it in the back and the back part it is stretchy so it's like a it is a skirt it's not like it is a skirt with an attached like bathing suit top thing but this would look so cute with like a white headband and I like tool headbands as you guys are gonna see later on in the haul it is adorable okay and the last thing from this um, website is a romper which I was really excited because it was yellow and it was sunflowers 
but when it came it looks small it's supposed to be I think it's supposed to I got it in size 12 months yes in 12 months okay and it looks very small and when I tried it on her it's it's something that doesn't look appropriate on her I don't know if other kids could pull it off other babies but on her it was not going it does not it, let me just show you guys it looks like this it's a halter it's attached to some shorts and then these two little pieces like the thing looks so cute it's so adorable it has the lace the crochet lace it's open on the back it has no stretch like at all and her diaper was coming out from the back and from the bottom in this part right here like she would bend down to grab something from the floor and it would kind of open so some nip was shown and I do not like that if I still have the picture I'll show you guys right here it looks cute but again it's not practical because it doesn't have the snaps on the bottom and i think on the website it does not even tell you if it has snaps or not which i think it should because people look for that i look for that moms look for that am i the only one that looks for that now we're off to athena and me i'll put the thing Okay, so I used to have a code for Fashionist Tots. I put it previously on my other videos, but I think her time of being an, like an ambassador or a brand enthusiast is out, so I don't think my code works anymore once. But the enemy states that they want you to get your stuff as fast as you can, so they ship individually as like their inventory I guess so one of the dresses I had to wait a very long time to get it and it's okay I still haven't put it on her because the material is kind of flimsy I'm not really okay with it and this I'll show you guys okay I'll show you guys but the first outfit <laughs> is super cute she already wore this just for pictures because on that day it was getting kind of cold it's a two-piece set, so it comes with this little skirt. It comes with this little skirt, and it has attached the, what's it called? The underwear, so it's attached. It's super cute, and it comes with this little top, which is kind of cropped. So up to here, it has some material that could cover their chest area, and after that, it's like showing skin. So just be aware of that. It looks off the shoulder, but I didn't put that on her. It was clearly like this with her. Not like this. And I got this in size 12. So it just looks like that. It's adorable. The next one is a dress, and it comes in a three-piece set. So I'm pretty sure if you guys have been shopping around or seen boutiques, or even Wish has this. It's the dress with like the farm animals and everything. Looks like this. It's long. This is the print. It has two layers, but note that this is not stretchy at all. And the snaps have two, they're plastic. And it has two um, levels. So you could even wear this as a shirt if your child is skinny enough from the chest area to grow into it. It also comes with this diaper cover, which to tell you the truth, it is very, very tiny. To be 12 months, as you guys could tell, it's, it's tiny. And it's already been washed. I already washed these two. And it comes with a headband that matches the underwear. I'll show you guys a picture of her wearing that right here. She looks super cute. And I actually like this, even though it kind of doesn't stretch. Because when you lift it up a little bit, the diaper cover shows. So it's really cute. And you could also wear another diaper cover that doesn't have to be this one. It has a whole bunch of different colors that you could like put her 
put it under like a green one or a blue one any kind of color i really like this dress all right the next thing is a i will call it a romper because i think it was meant to be a romper i think that's a description of this it's just lace but the shape is kind of odd like when you put this on your child their diaper is going to show if you could tell it's like straight and then it wraps so you get what i'm saying <laughs> it's an odd shape but the like the whole print or lace of it it's really pretty it's kind of stretchy but the lining of it is i think it's cotton so it stretches even more i got this in size 12 months and it also comes with two snaps right here so you could open it up and their head could fit through she already wore this. I'll put a picture of it right here. It looks adorable, but I still haven't tried, like, after she wore that day, I haven't put it on her because of the weird way it's shaped in the bottom. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is just cut the bottom. Just cut it off so it could be a t-shirt. <laughs> it could be a shirt so it doesn't go to waste because... I don't like it being a romper and putting shorts over it is kind of weird because there's so much material. It's kind of thick. You guys could tell. But it's really cute. The next one is the dress I was telling you guys that I was having a problem with. And it's this. <laughs> it's size 18 months. I think. I'm not even sure anymore. It says 9. And I don't have the email anymore, I think. And... It's stretchy from the back. It's a lemon print. But the thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't have a second layer. So it's quite see-through. And the big bow. The big bow. The big bow. I won't be able to put another bow on her because this big bow takes over the whole outfit. Probably just a headband. Just like a white headband. With nothing on it. But it's cute. I would have to put a diaper cover, a thick one, so it could cover her butt and have some kind of like layer so the dress doesn't get destroyed that much if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's really cute. I like the print. I just don't like that. It took so long to arrive. It doesn't have a second layer and the bow has thicker material. Like, I wouldn't mind if the material of this bow was either on a headband or it was like the second layer of the dress. But they put more emphasis on the bow than the actual dress, if you guys know what I'm talking about. The next thing is a romper. And this looks very tiny to be 12 months. I think I got it in 12 months. And this one is different. It has a different tag. Yeah, it's 18 months. It just has a different tag. But it's from Athena and me. And I think Fashionist Tots has this too. It just looks like this. It's supposed to be a mustard color. And it has flowers. And the middle of the flowers is like a hot pink. This is very tiny. The stretch of this is good. But you know your kid is going to have some kind of detention indentation in their skin because of this um, thing right here. And I kind of like snapped it off to see how long it would have to be. And I guess it wouldn't be that short. You adjust the tops yourselves. But at the same time, this looks very tiny. This right here is tiny. Like the length from here and there. Alright, the next thing is another romper. And this one is the opposite. It looks huge. Look at this. It looks huge, but in a good, huge way. And it's an 18 months. So comparing this and this, you guys, this has more width. The so it looks like this. It's like a chambray, want to be a chambray material. I love the blue though. And the sleeves are super. I love this. This is super cute. The little lining, it's like lace and it scrunches and then it clips on the bottom which is great and on the back 
It has three buttons. So they look like this. Oh, I can't even show you. So the button's on the back like this. And this says that it's 100% cotton, the whole material on the tag. The next one is this one, which is a two-piece. It comes with the little shirt and the shorts, which the shorts have the matching bow print of the shirts of the blouse. I know there's a similar one that doesn't have the bow on here and it actually comes with the headband, but I actually got this one. I was... More excited about this one because of the print and I think the other print is slightly different but this one's super cute I think I got this this is a hundred this is a hundred so I'm guessing a hundred should be 24 months it looks very big it looks like almost a dress I tried it on her it does look big I actually wanted her to wear this but again it was too big and these are way bigger too as you could tell they're as big as my head so yes this will be a 24 months it's very stretchy but it's that thick stretch so and this one has an actual like nice width so i don't think it will leave marks that's really cute the material you guys could hear it is that material that doesn't stretch at all i guess this is really cute i'm just gonna have to wait and like five more months I guess or probably six more months until she could actually wear this probably next year let's be truthful here <laughs> okay and the last outfit is actually a two-piece it comes with a shirt and some shorts and this print is so cute it is adorable I love everything it mixes um print so it has if you guys keep hearing that thump sound it's because I have my knees on Aisha's um, mattress so it comes with this blouse which is adorable it is blue and white stripes and the buttons look like they would be that light kind of wood but I think they're plastic so it's like this and the material is see-through and I think it's like the linen material Chris could see my finger probably not but I could see you and I think I got this in size 18 months because it looks big. So this could be worn as a dress right now, but the width of it is very big. So I would have to wait a very long time. It does not open all the way in the bottom. It actually cuts off right here. It's really cute. And then it comes with these shorts. And these shorts are like... I love the print of these shorts. I could actually put her these shorts right now with just like a white cami. Look at these little... I love the print of this. I love these colors. This could be totally fall with like some white tights underneath and like some little brown boots and like a little cardigan on top of this. This would be so cute. So adorable. These are stretchy. Um, did I get these? Oh yeah, these are, um, it says 100% cotton, and I did get these in 18 months. So this last outfit was 18 months, so I'm going to have to wait a little bit. But that is adorable, and with some brown chanclitas. Alright you guys, so in here I have a whole bunch of bows. And these bows are just from one shop, one person. It's on Instagram, and her name is Emily. And her Instagram name is Emily's Pink Bow or Bows. I'll put her link right here. Since I found her, I've been obsessed with ordering bows. And what I mean obsessed, I mean obsessed. Um, her bows are really affordable. She does headbands and actual bows. You could customize your bows however you want. She will do it. Even in the hairpins, I asked her some of them if she could wrap some of it so Ari's hair doesn't like clip on some and then falls off. I'll show you guys. She wraps them up like this. So I personally go to her house 
and pick him up. I text her when I'm on my way and then I text her when I'm outside. She comes out, gives me the bows and I pay her. The thing is, she also does like Instagram orders, but it's like based on trust. So you don't have to like give her the money like in person. You could just send her the money, but through like an electronic, if you guys get what I'm saying. So she lives nearby. I just go in person and pick up the bows. So this is how they're packaged. She sometimes does different um, papers. So this is how this one's packaged. I already took off the plastic off of this one. So this is how it looks. And this one is purple. And then she does it in some plastic, of course. And I haven't seen how she actually like melts it because shipping is three dollars. So why waste three dollars if I could just go in person and get another bow for that like same price, you know? All right. So the first ones I'm going to show you are two headbands that she did for Fourth of July. For Fourth of July. I was waiting for her to put her 4th of July headbands that I actually bugged her about it. <laughs> Which I'm sorry Emily but I wanted to see what kind of style she would get to. Like what what was her goal. If I was actually going to like them. And of course I did. I ordered some... How many did I order? I ordered... I think I ordered 5 or 6 that same day. And then I picked them up and I gave 3 to my sister which I'll show you like I'll show you a picture of one of them right here you might be able to see them probably not it's my little niece and Ari wearing the bows so, so cute so this is the one Ari is wearing in that picture it is adorable this is glitter and the glitter kind of does does it fall off right here it kind of falls off but not that much looks like this and the headbands are so stretchy i have ordered some off amazon that are like not stretchy at all and the headband is thick and it's straight up leaves and indentation in ari's head but these are like so good so this is the one of them this is the one she wore on 4th of July we went to the park the rest of the day so, and this one she wore actually the day, be the day before after the day before 4th of July and she got so many compliments people were actually asking me about where did I get them or if I made them myself I did not I told people that is Girl named Emily on Instagram. It looks so cute. Love the bling. I'll show you a picture of her wearing it right here. She looks so cute. And then she wore a um, Carter's romper, a jumpsuit, which was like that chambray material. And some, I think there were cherries. There were white cherries. So it kind of went with the theme of red, white, and blue. So this is how it looks like. She actually gave this one for free to Ari when she first saw her and it this really cute navy blue is I think she has sizing so I think this is like extra small and it's doubled satin bow and like I said look at that stretch so easy super cute and I'll put the prices down below on her bows because I can't really, I think for, she charges 50 cents extra if you want them like doubled like this. And I think the regular price is three. Don't quote me. I'll put them down below the prices because I have them on my phone. And then I had this idea of making it into a tool form because I love pink. And this is the tool pink tool she has a wire in the middle 
and then she wraps it with more tulle. So it looks simple but super cute and it goes with a lot of things because it's like pink. Oh my goodness, it's so adorable. Okay guys, so the next ones are going to be the tulle like pigtails. So you have two clips and like pigtails basically. And I just order these in tulle form because to tell you the truth, I like the tulle form. It looks really cute and very girly and like soft and innocent. So we have a lot. So I have all of these in double, just to tell you the truth basically. <laughs> this is in baby blue. And like I said, I asked her to wrap some in the bottom. So like the little teeth doesn't just cling onto one hair and you know that's that hurts. So I prevented that with Ari. Have the white. Have a yellow one, a bright yellow, which I love. Because if you notice, I have a lot of yellow for her, so she needs some yellow. I first ordered this one, but I wanted something darker, so I ordered the one in the bottom. And then when I went to pick up those, like the pigtail ones, I saw that she had these. These are super cute. I think she just got one layer of tulle and then put some kind of like sequence inside and then wrapped some glitter. It's adorable. How it looks. The clips. The clips are very sturdy. Okay, now I'm going to show you like the extra small clips if that's what makes sense. It's like... It's like the size of the um, headbands, but in clip form. So I have this one, which is like a plum. And this is the wire I'm talking about. She puts wire, and then if you want to cover that wire, she'll put some tool or whatever you want on top. And it's the same clip. She has different kinds of clips, so she'll give you a picture and then she'll show you which clip do you want she has different ones i choose these so if she does grow into them her hair could be easily grabbed onto and then this mint blue one and this is the mint i think you guys could tell they're different all right now we're gonna get on to the big bows the big bows i sometimes use let's be honest <laughs> So this is one of them. It's like the same little one as this, but in big form. And this one, she used some pink in the back and then she laid this one over it. And this one I'm talking about, she has different clips. Like this one is longer than this one. Then I ordered it in gold. Which is super cute. Look, the size of my hand. This is a pigtail. And let me show you a little extra small one. So those are the sizes. So I ordered it in gold. Then I ordered it in orange. Which I think I'm going to get a smaller version of this because that color looks so fun pink, well the same pink and then purple, this purple is so pretty and then of course red, I actually wore this one for 4th of July and then I have some other ones but in satin form so it looks like this, this is a blue one I ordered the same color but in the headband form. She already wore this one. If I could find a picture of her with it, then she had this sequence one, which was purple sequence and then it has some bling. Look at that, that is so pretty. I have another one of these, but I can't find it. <laughs> if I find it, I'll just put a picture in the end how it looks. It's as big, I think, as this one, but this one has a different clip. It's like longer and skinnier. And then the same satin, I think I ordered this one as well. 
and this one this one it's so pretty but it's so big and it'll look kind of ridiculous right now in Ari's head so I'm waiting I'm waiting I'm patiently waiting to put this one on her OMG look at that look at that bling it's so pretty okay guys now I'm gonna show you the tools these are the closest newest ones that I actually purchased and these are so cute these are like the pink like the very first pink one that I showed you but in a mauve color it's purple but it's looking more violet on camera so guys a white one a yellow one like I said I love the yellow so this is like another I don't know would you describe this as a teal color it's really pretty baby blue it's like that big baby blue bow but in a small form navy blue show you in the end all right you guys so these are the last bows I'm gonna show you um, double so it's like layered with this like goldish one but it's threaded so it doesn't fall off and then I got it in blue super cute I got it in the mustard this is so cute look at that this would go with a lot of things during the fall and if you guys are wondering how the back looks cuz come on we all would want to know these are how the back looks like Okay, you guys, so that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. It's that red button down there. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget that all the information for the websites and Emily is going to be down below. And yeah, if you have any questions, just comment below and I'll answer them.